to find the sum of a, b, and z. We need to figure out the values of them, right? Let's go. We know 4a squared b squared is an even number, and 65 is odd number. So c squared must be odd. So 4a squared b squared is even number. So c squared must be odd. And also, c squared plus a positive number equals 65. So c squared must be less than 65. So the only possible values for c would be 1, 3, 5, 7, no more. Because 9 squared equals 81. Right? So let's look at the first case. c equals 1. Plug in. So 1 squared plus 4a squared b squared equals 65. Both sides of chapter 1. So 4ab squared equals 64. Both sides divided by 4ab squared equals 16. Square root for both sides. So we get ab equals 4. So the possible values for a, b would be a equals 4, b equals 1, or a equals 1, b equals 4, or a equals 2, b equals 2. But we know the value of c, 1. So the sum of a, b, c would be a plus B plus C equals 4 plus 1 plus 1 equals 6. Same for the second case. Or 2 plus 2 plus 1 equals 5. Next case, C equals 3. Plug in. 3 squared plus 4a squared b squared equals 65. Both sides subtract 9. 4ab squared equals 56. Both sides divided by 4. So we get ab squared equals 14. Taking square root for both sides. So we get ab equals square root of 14. It is not possible because A, B are both integers. Next case, so C equals 5. Again, 5 squared plus 4A squared B squared equals 65. Both sides subject 25. So get 4AB squared equals 40. Both sides divided by 40. Uh, by 4, so we get a, b, square equals 10. Picking square root for both sides, we get a, b equals square root of 10. Again, not possible, right? So finally, we can still say equals 7. 7 square plus 4a square b square equals 65. Both sides subtract 49, so we get 4. A, B squared equals uh, 16. So divided by 4, so we get A, B squared equals 4. Taking square root, so we get A, B equals 2. So the possible values for this case would be A equals 2, B equals 1, or A equals 1, B equals 2. But we know the value of, say, 7, right? So, 7. So, the sum of A plus B plus C equals 2 plus 1 plus 7 equals 9. Same for the second case. Finally, we know there are three solutions to the given problem. 6, 5, and 10. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.